Hello everybody and welcome finally to some mega modded Skyrim. If you guys remember a while ago in my Isaac series, I was talking about doing a mega modded Skyrim series. I've been wanting to do it for a long time. And finally, now that I've got my new beefy PC, I've decided to create, um, or download, should I say, a really, really huge modded Skyrim list, which is called Nolvos. It's over 2,000 mods, around 2,300 or so, I think, that have been all created and sort of worked on to make sure they all work together and the game is stable. And I've tested it out over the past few days and it seems incredible so we're going to jump straight in to a run and give it a go we're going to go and load our saves here i believe it's uh, this one and then we come into this bit here and this will load us in to our starting area where we can choose our um our starting location essentially with this i want it to be a bit of a role play series and therefore um, I would like it to be like this, where it's going to give us a completely random starting location with some random starting gear, random starting spells, and then you guys can, in the comments and sort of in Discord and stuff, let me know what you want to see, and I'll sort of chase those quests and work towards those builds, things like that. Um, so, we've started here, and we can get to pick our religion as well, actually, very nice, okay. Um, religion is pretty interesting. It gives you different abilities and stuff. So you can see, like, improved attacks against dragons. I think we want to go for this one, is it? Yes. Uh, receive an additional skill point from reading books and explore locations, read stories of others, and study a wide variety of spells. I think this fits us pretty well. Although I don't believe we're a Breton. I think we're just a Nord. But anyways, we'll accept this blessing. And yeah, this is an absolutely insane modding setup. I mean, you can just see by the graphics that it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty amazing as it is. I'm going to have to set up a few quick mods like this here when we get in, but yeah, we're in a, we're in a pretty good place now, um, and we are good to go in our Skyrim adventure. So first of all, let's see where we are. Okay, we're near Falkreath, which is pretty interesting, actually. I quite like Falkreath. There's some interesting stuff we can actually get over here. This is a really, really good starting location. So first things first, let's um, delete this save here. That's one of my testing saves, and create a new one as this character. And I think... This is us ready to get going on our adventure. So there's too many mods right now for me to go over absolutely everything that we have. But here's my here's my character that we created. I think he looks pretty awesome. I've created a pretty decent looking guy. Um, we can keep our helmet on for now. And yeah, um, I, I, like I said, I can't really go over all the mods that we have. But there is a lot and a lot and a lot. The game is very, very, very overhauled. It's basically an entirely new game. And we are just going to have a really nice chill series. We're going to do slightly longer episodes on this series. It's very much going to be like a relaxed playthrough. And like I said, I really want it to be slightly roleplay where we write a backstory for our character based on this random start along with a few other things. And from here, we, we build up on the character. And like I said, you guys can input on what we do and what playstyle we take and stuff like that. So anyways, let me set up a few of the mods I need to set up once we've got into the game and we'll continue on. Okay, we are set up and ready to go. We have a troll of some kind up the road there. But yeah, basically now I've set up my hotkeys for uh, swapping my weapons really easily. So you can see that I can easily swap between my two weapons. It's very nice. Also, something really cool about this. We have whole new combat and attacking animations. But alongside that, we also have stances. So we can change to different stances, which change up our attack animations between speeds and damage. So we can change up what we want to do depending on the combat style we want to go for. And then go back to normal here. I think that's really, really cool. I really like four. Uh, not four, sorry, three, which is the sort of aggression one. I think we do less damage in this, but obviously, as you can see, we're uh, much, much speedier. And then we've also got our burn arrow as well. We'll, we'll, we'll take the burn arrow out for now. But let's uh, be careful and see exactly where we're uh, located here. So we're at the... Um, how does Karin? 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 I think we probably want to head down to Falkreath first and then make our way from there. In fact... I'm fairly sure this is a pretty good start for us because I think in Falkreath we can pick up our, uh, one of the followers that I've installed. Well, this part of this mod pack that I really enjoy. Um, and yeah, I, I was not planning on this being the random start that we got, but it's pretty interesting that it is. I didn't... Uh, I set it up so basically the moment I loaded in the save file it would randomize and I tested it earlier That's why you saw that other save file and this is the one that we got last time th on the test one I got I was like locked in a cage in the middle of the uh, like Ice and uh, and snow and stuff. It was pretty brutal so There's Falkreath down there by the looks of things Let's take a little look see we are gonna be playing this majority third person by the way as well uh, I really like the third person, like combat animations and stuff. But there is some stuff for first person too if you want to use that. But anyways, let's uh, make our way down this road here and 
get on down to Falkreath. Because there's probably a few quests we can pick up there as well as our like first sort of interesting bit into the game. So where's the path down? There should be a path down over here. I'm going to have to keep checking the map here. Okay, so there's, there's, there's probably a path around here. As you can see, we are using a paper map variant. Um, and I love the animations here. We can even do stuff like this. Look, like If we jump off like a high, something high up, we can like do a, a roll. Oh, I did hear a, a bear of some kind over here. We, there it is. It's an ogre. We probably want to leave that ogre be. I imagine he isn't too fond of us getting close to his, uh, his lair. There's a lot of new enemies and a lot of... Just, just an insane amount of new content on this. Um, okay. <laughs> paragliding. Oh, no way. Okay, this is... This has been a very interesting start. Uh, paragliding in Skyrim. I've seen videos of this. Although I've not checked it out myself. It's pretty goddamn cool. Frederick's Journal, was it? Yeah, so let's, uh, let's, let's mark that as a quest to, uh, to do... So that seems pretty interesting. Paragliding and Skyrim. We can take the others off for now. Uh, we'll, we'll leave we'll leave that one on because I don't know what that is. Um, actually, both of these probably going to leave on. A sudden urge to sleep has come upon me. I need to find a place to rest. Okay, let's try and do that. So that's 476 meters up. So quite far up that way. Anyways, let's first of all go down to Falkyrie here. See what we can find. God damn, the game looks so insanely beautiful. Uh, also, we'll try and make sure to do regular full saves as well, because uh, while I've not experienced too much crashing in this mod list, it is a pretty stable mod list, I have had a crash, and of course in this game if you crash you lose all your progress. And what might you need? Hmm? An Electromancer, I could hire you. Hmm. At the minute I don't actually, I have not actually had a look at what um, what additional stuff I have on me, so let's let's take a little look see, shall we? Uh, we've got an Iron Lantern, that's good. Uh, we've got a Persian. Got a little bit of food, not bad. Um, we didn't, we don't really have much. We got 334 septums, that's not too bad. Right. Let's run. Battle Creek is good. Now, I do have a completely alternate leveling system enabled on this, so instead of leveling up skills to level up, you complete quests, visit locations and stuff, which means that early on we'll probably level up very, very quickly, but it will slow down pretty heavily um, as we get into the game. Right, so where am I going to find this follower here? We've got a bounty board here, that's kind of interesting. You can search the missives board. Burn Chill Passage. Hunt a fugitive in white. Well, that's quite far away. We'll leave those for now. I don't think we need to take those. The Imperial Mail. Oh, hello. Something I forgot we had. That is probably the coolest mod ever. You see that little that little blue light there? Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a mod that allows us to mantle up essentially anything. So, it's contextual mantling. To the point where we can, like, yeah climb up the roofs and stuff. Like, like, look at this. How cool is this? So, like, for example, if I'm, like, coming up on a bandit camp, I could, like, climb up on the roof and, like, get my bow and arrow out. Oopsie, I just enabled auto-run by accident. I meant to crouch. Crouching is not the same key as it is on some other games. I'll put that away for now. Uh, we need to set up a hotkey for taking off our helmet at some point as well. I can just take it off there for now and uh, put it in my favourites. Can't remember what the favourite menu is in this game. Yeah, it's Q, okay. So I can just favourite it to uh, enable and disable it so I can take it off when we're speaking to people. You can see we're a bit injured at the minute, so we're hobbling a little bit. Let's go into the Dead Man's Drink and see if we can find our follower that I believe resides in here. I don't see him, though. Unless you intend to bury someone, this isn't the place you're looking for, traveller. Is there something about a burial? No, Falkreath is known for its graveyard, traveller. We've buried more dead than you can imagine. I just finished giving my old war companion Barrett a proper burial by fire. Old Hardhead hated the idea of being lost cold in the ground. Could you deliver the ashes to Runil? The priest of Arke, he'll know the right blessings to make for Barrett's soul. Yeah, sure thing. Thank Sounds you. like a, a good quest to go on straight away. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, here we are. Is this Lucian right here? Let's let's take a seat beside him. 
There's also a note just there as well. Seeking treasure hunters. Curator is seeking able-bodied adventurers to seek out and recover lost artifacts of historical relevance for the soon-to-be-reopened museum in Solitude. Anyone interested should apply there in person. All deliveries of authentic artifacts will be well compensated. Interesting. Excuse me, sir. I don't normally do this, but, um, have you got a moment to talk? Sure thing, buddy, sure thing. Are you trying to flirt with me? Of course. Marvellous. My name is Lucian Flavius. I'm a scientist, philosopher, hey, amateur wizard, it, and right? something of a musician, though I suppose that's more of a hobby. I couldn't help noticing that you seem... how can I put this? Well acquainted with the less savoury side of Skyrim? I mean, you're assuming a lot about my past that maybe I don't even know, but <laughs> it depends on the backstory we write for this guy to how much I've seen, seen a, a thing or two. As a fact, I do. I'm here in Skyrim on an expedition, academic mainly. I find the province simply fascinating. The flora, the fauna, the ruins, both Dwemer and Nordic, the architecture, the politics. Trouble is, I'm really not much of a fighter. I know a few spells and can just about swing a sword, but beyond that, I'm pretty useless in combat. Skyrim's no place for a milk drinker like me. Not on my own, anyway. So, I'm looking for someone to travel with. Okay. This seems to be our follower indeed. Go on. I suppose what I'm asking is, would you awfully mind if I tag along? I will of course compensate you most handsomely for putting up with me. Ooh, are we getting paid to bring him along? How much are we talking? Oh, shall we say 300 septims up front? After that, I'll top you up every time we come across something useful to my research. At your discretion, of course. No obligations. Save that you take me with you, and assist in keeping me alive wherever possible. Sounds like a deal oh, to me, okay. Splendid. Here's your gold. This is going to be quite the adventure. I'm telling you, by the way. To meet you. <laughs> Lead on. Okay, we have picked up a follower right off the bat in the first episode, which I really like. Come down, look at this place. It looks amazing. And we've also picked up a quest here as well. I mean, I, I really think the first thing we ought to do is this paragliding business, but let's have a look what's going on here. My maid, Tikla, has been known to pass information to that pompous nephew of mine, Sidgear. He says a plot against him. Not against me, against all of Falkreath. Those Imperial bastards are spying on every one of us. Last night, I saw Laud the blacksmith writing a letter. <laughs> Probably sending word to Solitude and General Tullius. Are you loyal to Skyrim? Break into Laud's house and get that letter. Oh shit, okay. Good. We've picked up a few quests already here. Interesting. Why would you say? The Empire has ears all over this town. I apologize. Right, let's uh, let's let's pick some, some of these quests up as uh, some things to do. Miscellaneous. Let's get all of those signed up for, shall we? Right, come on then. Quite a few people hanging around by the door here. If it's a duel you seek, stranger, then I suggest you leave. I am not here to fulfill your desire for pain or free you from your wretched existence. At least, not today. <laughs> wow, that's uh, you'll face me like a soldier, Thalmor. Mm. <laughs> I just wanted to talk. Ah, yes, and what, pray tell, do you wish to converse about, hmm? Politics, religion, my two favorite subjects. Perhaps you wish to discuss both. How delightful. That was something simple like a name. But why bother <laughs> with the foreplay? You seek vengeance for your loved ones, that's why you want to talk. That's why everyone wants to talk. Well, you are too late. I am no longer a Thalmor. The clothes are just that. Clothes. I will not discard a perfectly adequate robe. Am I on her side? I don't like her, but I'm going to say that I'm on your side, just in case. To take, <laughs> seeing that I have no side to speak of. If you are with the Thalmor, then I am no longer with you. If you are an enemy of the Thalmor, then I am no longer against you. Regardless, we are in no way in league with each other. 
Um, why? Yeah, why come to Falkyrie? It's pretty far away. It is a temporary escape. I do not plan on remaining in this hovel of a kingdom beyond the next season. My plan is to return to the Somerset Isle after doing a little sightseeing. Oh, there's someone that just walked in. Oh no, he's leaving, he's leaving. Nothing to see here, just trees. Yeah, I mean, it does have its charm. It does have its charm. Yes, I have noticed. Dead man's drink. Grave concoctions. How quaint. The humour does not extend to the barracks or the cemetery, however. I find it counterproductive, considering that is where it is needed most. She's, she seems interesting, but I think we'll leave her All be right for now. Then. We'll head out as well. I think she's heading out too, but we'll not follow her around. Uh, do you know what we could actually do? Do, do you know what we could actually do? Before we leave, I'm sorry, Lucian. I'm going to head back in. I want to see if we can buy a room and go to bed, because one of our quests was to sleep. I'm telling you, I heard it. Howling. Come on in. Those weird wolves Let me know if you need through. anything. Or take a Until next Welcome time. to Dead Man's Drink. I'd like to rent a room, please. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thanks. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. I'm gonna guess it's the only bed here, upstairs. One of these ones, I'm guessing. Nope, it's not. Okay, now I'm actually kind of confused. Okay, it's this one. <laughs> it's the only one with some privacy. Okay. How long do we want to rest for? It's currently five, so let's... Oh god, we can rest for 720 hours? What? <laughs> um, let's rest for like, not 24, like, I want to rest for like, maybe 14 hours, yeah, there you go. Wake up in the morning. You awaken from your slumber dazed, as you glance around, you find your water skin lying by your bedside, you notice the chill in the air and the grumble in your belly, you understand now that if you take a sip, things will be different from now on. Okay, so this is basically, do we want to enable the, uh, the need to eat and sleep and drink? No. That is something that I'm not particularly fond of. Okay, cool. So that, that should be sorted now on our quests, right? So now find it. What? The? Sudden edge come up to you. Um, need a place to rest soon. Find a bed to sleep in. Nice fact to start Sunhelm. Sunhelm can also be started at the MCM menu. Okay, let's let's quickly check the MCM menu and see what this is. Sunhelm will be quite far down, I imagine. Somewhere in the S's, probably. Sunhelm. I don't see it at the moment. There it is, Sunhelm. Okay. So, it's basically Sunhelm is just a survival thing. So, we, we don't want to start that. Okay, that's fair enough. Let's, um, let's quickly negate that quest, shall we? We don't want to start Sunhelm. While, while needs is an interesting idea, I feel I've used it in Skyrim before and I feel it adds a level of tedium sometimes that can get a little annoying. Because you either have it where you need to eat a good amount and you can keep food on you and stuff, and that's that. Oh god, it's really dark still. Um... Or, you have it where it's like, you don't need food very often, and you can set up things to like, auto-eat and auto-drink, and that just, is just pointless at that point. The god Orke was once like... Goost is responsible for the cemetery here in Falkreath. I take care of the shrine. I have a delivery. Ah, Barret's Ashes. He was a good man. Not many warriors grow to a fine old age. Thank you for bringing this to me. I'll make sure he gets his rights. Here, for your trouble. Well, thank you. 257s, that's not bad. It's not bad. What have you got for Take sale? Look. Well, this guy's selling quite a lot of spells here. This is nice. This is nice. I mean, we've got 874 septums right now, so I think I'll grab Fast Heal, which is quite expensive, but pretty goddamn useful. Um, and we can teach ourselves that. And we can... Add that to our queue as one of our items. If we go over to fast heal, cost seventy eight, so it's pretty pretty expensive. But we can go. I believe it's this one. Do you like to add it to your right hand queue? There you go. You so now, gave up this existence, if we, that we might better understand go like this, we can switch between our different things, and one of them is fast heal. There you go. Look, yeah. I've been looking for you. Oh, hello. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. 
Let's see. Looks like that's it. Oh god, we got a lot of stuff. Okay. I will take all of them. That's not what I meant to do. But yeah, we can heal up like this. Good amount of healing there. We got a level up here. Nice. And then we can switch back to... I think we're going to go for sword for now. Put that away. God damn it. It's so, like, misty and dark. I love it. Right. Let's put our sword away. And then head up to the flying platform, I guess. Thank you, Courier, for all that. So, what's this? So, first of all, we've got a level up here. I think I'm going to go for, uh, probably stamina. Um, and then... Restoration spells. Ha having that to be able to cast that healing for a lot less is probably pretty useful. Let's uh, let's grab that to start with. Okay. Oh wait, let's try and steal th this letter first. While we're here, just over this way. Look. Oh, the house is open, okay. I don't know if I'm going to get in trouble for being in here. I imagine so. Okay, maybe not. Okay, she seems completely fine that I'm here. I'm just going to quickly go upstairs, if you don't mind. Hey! Can't a man have a bit of privacy? Get out of here! Put this is the last time I'll see. Get out. Guards, trespasser. Ah, uh, I think I might have buggered up here. <laughs> okay, I I might have done that in time. Okay, I can't deliver it to him yet because he's still sleeping. Let's 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 wait like an hour or so and see if uh, we're allowed in. There you go. Hello, good sir. Here's the letter. What's this? Some kind of code? Need as much iron ore as you can dig up. Well, he's not spying, but it's clear the Empire's making Lord smith up more swords and armor for them. Good work. Take this. We're making some good money already. I like this. Right then. Is this a skill book? Among the tales in this book, the forbidden legend of the wise and just Archmage Galder, who mysterious murder in the dawning days of the first era was struck. Investigate further. Interesting. Swamp Dragon Figurine. All of this isn't stealing, which is slightly strange. He found a unique figurine. Now, I'm unsure why none of this is stealing. He seems to not care whatsoever that I'm ransacking his house, but I'll take it. Speech by 15 is nice. Yeah, I like that. I'll take that. Thank you. I'll just equip that. Thank you muchly. What we got going on over here? I guess I'm just going to ransack this guy's house because he seems, like, completely fine with it. <laughs> I don't see why I wouldn't at this point. I can climb up on this guy's shelves. <laughs> I love this climbing mod. It's, it's absolutely insane how useful it is. And just how seamless it is. Right, doesn't look like there's much else here. Right, let's get out of here. Good bit of money off of that guy. By the way, I do have my economy set up in this game to be pretty, pretty brutal. So we are going to find that um, it's things that are expensive as hell. Right, anyways. Um, Lucian, are you... Uh... There you are, my guy. <laughs> if it was as are. dreary then as it is now, I'm not surprised we let the place go. Right, let's get to running. I don't know exactly how we get up to this uh, flight platform, but I'm intrigued by it nonetheless. We don't have a ton of stamina right now, which is why I put a first point into stamina, but we'll see how it goes. Is 
so here's the dead guy. So I imagine we follow... We follow this path up here, potentially. Take a little look-see. Although, looking at it now, there isn't actually much up here. Let's uh, let's quickly do a save, because we've uh, made a good amount of progress here. There's a little tower here, but it's not it's not this. Ooh, hello, what's this? Sky Shard. I like this little animation here. 108 Sky Shards in Skyrim. I feel the power of the Sky Shard being absorbed. Okay. Interesting. But it doesn't seem like this is the correct way for us to go to, um... To get up to this... Thing up here. Although we could climb. One of the really cool things about the climbing mod is it will let us climb up hills. Ooh, we've got some... Oh, we got a lot of bandits over there. And they seem interested. Oh, one of them just got fucking destroyed by that rock. Did you see that? Okay. Let's let's quickly um Let's get our bow out real quick here and see what we can do. We've got 33 arrows. I don't know what Lucian uses. This is hair changed colour. I swear if it was like blonde when I first met him. We are routed! Fall back! Okay. I can charge up my bow as well here. You can see the little... Boom. The bows uh, do move very, very slowly, though. The actual... Sorry, the arrows move pretty slowly. It's to stop the NPCs being too powerful. Luckily, these guys aren't really moving all that much, so we're uh, in a good spot to kill them right now. I think that dog froze, you know? As in, like, it looked frosty. Where are those guys going? I'm gonna crush you like a bug. Yeah, let's check out these guys that fell down here. Some arrows is very nice to see. Longbow. Got him. Hey, we now got him. Nice one. Okay, I don't know where those other two guys went. They seem to have gone... Oh, they're all the way around here. That's why. This is what I trained for. <laughs> right. Let's get into, um, into war stance. I'm crouched at the minute. That's something worse during training. You'll need to do better than that. Nice. Uh, who are you? Are you okay? <laughs> Who's this? Need something? Okay, she's just like a, All right, then. a hired hitter. Nice, I guess. Wasn't expecting that. Lucian, whereabouts did uh, whereabouts did my my friend go? Stone in my shoe. Uh, Always the worst. Ah! <laughs> Lucian, you just fucking murdered this woman with that rock. <laughs> ah! oh! <laughs> okay. Um, people are just dying left, right, and center here. We got a backpack here, which is kind of nice. We could put that on. I don't need it for now, though. I'll leave it off. So, do you... I'm just curious here. Okay. <laughs> These rocks are, um... Maybe a little strong. Got some scrolls here. I'm going to give some of this to you, Lucian. How can I assist? Um, I need to trade sure. some things with Let's you. Let's trade. Okay, you can have that. Wait, that, 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 that. You can have my long burr, and then you've got a burr. Wait, do you, do you, you probably need some arrows as well, don't you? Yes. What a coincidence. I need to trade some things with you too. No worries, my guy, no worries. Okay, you probably need some arrows too, so let's give you like 10 arrows for now. You can pick more up as you go. 
There you go. Uh, right. And then I and think... The I think oh. now I need to re-equip my burr onto this slot. There you go. Cool. Well, that was a, a rather... Rather crazy little bit of combat there. Again, we'll make sure to save after stuff like that happens. And we've got to keep heading up this way. So I'm, I'm going to try and just go straight up this way and hope for the best, I think. Lucy, and you come along. I'm going to sprint ahead. Oh, shit. There's, there's more. Oh, there's a lot more. Okay. Hey, he's freezing them. That's nice. Oh, I really like this, uh... It's not too strong, like, damage-wise. But I'm able to, like, get up in their face. Oh, that gun, that one's too so much easier to rob when you're dead. Oh, lovely. There you go. Okay, low-level bandits aren't that big of a deal for us right now, but the combat feels very smooth. Well, not, like, I'm, I'm a bit curious why we're all, uh... All frosty when it's not really snowing right now, but eh, let's not uh, let's not judge. Okay, so I'm guessing these guys had a camp nearby. Oh yeah, right here. Bandit camp discovered. See what I mean by leveling ups? Our levels will come pretty fast early on. We'll go for health this time, and we probably want to go for some one-handed, um, one-handed damage. Ooh, there's a dead body here. Not someone we need to go for. Hey, skill book, lovely. So if I sleep in this bed now, I just want to test something here. Get into this bed. And I just, just rest for an hour. There we go. Okay. Basically, we, uh, we can now use skill points to increase our skills here, so... In our magic skills, um, I want to boost a bit of destruction. We'll go with two on destruction. Everything else there looks pretty good. Warrior skills, one-handed, 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 one-handed. We'll get that to 15. Um, archery, we probably want to bump up a little bit as well. There you go, 15 on that. Thief skills... For now, light arm is probably a good idea. I'm gonna, I'm gonna level up speech though. Get that up a little bit. Cool. Okay. So now we've done that. We've assigned our points. Yes. Pretty cool that we can do that. Level up our skills that way. We can level them up naturally as well, I believe, but, um, we get, like, XP to level them up by sleeping too. So as you can see, they're all, uh, reading off now. Makes a really nice and satisfying sound when you uh, do that, actually. We can do quick saves as well with F5. I just don't want to save too much because it can blurt your save file a little bit. Okay, it seems like we're going the right way towards this now, though. I wonder if we'll come across any other bandits or anything up here. I'm always worried around these areas in Skyrim because they're just, especially in modded, because they can just be filled with so many, like, new enemies and stuff. We going just up here? Yes. Okay. There is, there is a sort of somewhat defined path here. Oh god, it's very misty up here. And this is a little bit cobbled together. This bit. We've got the Macapaca rocks, so we know we're going the right way at least. These little rocks are like guiding stones. I'm gonna guess. Yeah, I guess. I was just about to say. I'm gonna guess. Lucian is not having the best time here. When did Lucian get a cloak? I want a cloak. Lucian, when did you get Greetings. a cloak? I would very much Take like your cloak. You need. I'm sorry, but fair lined hood. Is that what it is? Oh, there it is. G give me that. I'm sorry, Lucian, but. That would suit me much more than it would suit you. Probably put a helmet back on now as well. What's next? Beautiful. Oh lord. What on earth was that noise? Okay, so maybe coming up here is a little more treacherous than I first assumed.
And it's getting rather foggy. Ooh, look, it's under one of these sterns. Two of three absorbed. So I'm guessing I get, like, some loot or a skill point or a level up or something when I get the third one. I'm not exactly sure what that'll entail. Oh god, this, this, this smirk, uh, the fog is, like, making it really difficult to know where I'm going and to see what enemies lie ahead. I'm going to run into some enemies pretty quickly, aren't I? But making our way up still. The flight platform's just up there. We could... Okay, I can actually see it. We could potentially climb from here. Ah, I say that. <laughs> Maybe not. It's very steep. Holy shit, it's so foggy. As long as we can go around, it'll be okay. Just checking what potions we have. Unfortunately, not a lot right now. My god, this is so cool, this. It's so ominous. Feels like we're in the middle of nowhere. So what's this thing here? Bloodlet Throne. Anything of interest here? Hunting Bow of Dismissal and Fire Arrows. How much uh, damage does this do? 8 versus 8. So it's the same thing. I mean, to be fair, we might as well. Um, we've got a chest here as well. Not a bad bit of loot there, lovely. There's a few more levels to this, but I don't think there's much else for us to find. Right, we are nearing the end of this area now. I'm guessing it's just over here somewhere. I mean, there's our flight platform, but... <laughs> Lucian's just getting lost back there. Oh, look, do we create footsteps in the snow as well? That's pretty cool. Right. This seems to be it. <laughs> Let's get the little pinwheels. Bit of a misty day for this, isn't it? Can we sleep on it and, and, and before we get started? Is there a bed up here? There's our paraglider. Very nice. Spell term, security to paraglide. Vampires and werewolves who do not believe in the gifts will fall. Paraglide bread quietly helped vampires, so he had an accident with flight. I mean, I guess I'll take both of these. Okay, so how do I use my paraglider then? Space, double space, no. Control, no. E? Well, that, that seems to do something. Yeah, I got it out when I pressed E there. Okay. Right. It's not exactly the best day for it. So maybe we want to... Maybe we want to wait until tomorrow. Do like 20 hours. Maybe it'll be a little nicer in the morning. There we go. Oh my god, look at this view. Also, what's this little thing down here? We went way past that and just completely missed it. So I don't know where Lucian is. And I'll be honest, Lucian, I feel like I feel like I'm gonna ditch you a little bit and meet up with you later on. Where are you, Lucian? Ow! I'm briefly setting myself on fire. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Just keep running. Roll in the snow, Lucian. Where did you go? Wait an hour. God damn it, I lost him already. Right, can I can I do this? Oh my god, I can, okay. Right, we last saw him down here. Oh, this is so cool. I saw him here. 
Oh, I hear him. Hey, there's my boy. Okay, Lucian. Those fire arrows look rather exciting. Care to share? Fire arrows? Let's get back you, to you it. know about them? Right. I think we're going to jump off this platform, Lucian, if, you, if you'd care to join me. Um, you don't have a paraglider, so I don't know how easy it's going to be for you to follow. But we'll save before we go, just in case. But that was pretty cool to jump off that. We're going to fly over the entire map now. I wonder how far it'll carry us. I want to see what those spell books did as well. Um, someone's a constant wind behind you, propelling you to the heights only the dove know. Yeah. Ah, fall damage immunity, okay. Probably a bit cheesy to use that, but it's there if we want it. Right. Come along, Lucian. He's so slow to follow me. I start sprinting and he's like, eh, I'll think about it. Right, Lucian, don't step on the fire like I did. And we're going to go sailing away for a little bit. I thought I dodged it this time. I was wrong once again. Right. Let's save here. Right, Lucian. I will meet you elsewhere. <laughs> right, I don't know where I'm aiming for here. I mean, I, I could go to whatever this is over here. Where is El N N Nail? Whatever that is. I could head over that way. Let's check our map real quick and see where that's taking us. Oh, it's in Riverwood. Okay, yeah. Let's, let's just head to Riverwood then. Why not? My goodness. This game looks goddamn incredible. <laughs> so can I redeploy this? I'm going to have to do a test real quick. Okay, I can. I can. I was like, let's see if I die doing this. I can redeploy it. But essentially, we've got parachuting in Skyrim. Is that Helgen up there? That looks like Helgen. Riverwood. Not far below here. We've got the standing stones actually just here if we want to try and quickly make a excursion towards them. Oh, we've got another one of those stones over there by the looks of it. Look at all the fog on the mountains, man. That's so cool. Right, where are the standing stones? We've got to be close. Okay, we've gone past them, apparently. Let's see if I can see them real quick. There's a bandit camp just below us there, look. Is that a bandit camp? That's just a shrine with a bunch of bodies next to it. Oh, this is so cool. Where are the standing stones? I swear they're over here somewhere. Is that them there? I think that's them there. Yeah, there you go. Here we go. Ooh, what's this? Amulet of the Thief. There are, oh, there's, there's one, of, one for each of them. Nice. Okay, we probably want to take the warrior stone here. Gain additional experience in all warrior skills. Let's take that for now, shall we? Um, let's activate them all, though, um, just so that we've got... Oh, Lucian's here. Okay, good. You made your way. Museum display added. Yeah, that's why I wanted to take them all. Where can we... Hey, we can hop inside it. Right, make sure this one's the active one right now. Lovely. Right, thank you, Lucy, and let's uh, let's continue Maybe on now. Warrior or thief? Tough choice. Why can't we be all three? We kind of are. But we can't take all three stones, though. I think there's some wolves around here, if I remember Skyrim well enough. Let's go to um, stance two, green stance. A little bit slower. Not quite as aggressive. Maybe stance one even. Yeah, I like that. That's kind of weighty. Yeah, I hear the wolves.
Is it up here somewhere? Normally they jump you. You know, whilst I played this bit this, this ground, there's one of them. Come here, wolf. Alpha wolf. Oh, we've got a few alphas and a few normal ones. Okay, we're quite healthy compared to the wolves right now. Okay, Lucian. Wow. Oh, look at the fair. Whoa. Look at the fair on them. That's so cool. It's like, it looks like it does in like Red Dead Redemption. Even the fair on this looks kind of 3D a little bit. Not quite as 3D as the fair on those animals, but that was pretty cool. God damn. A whole new world coming around here this time around. New house there. Ooh, there's, I think that's one of those... Uh... Ooh, hello. Okay, let's... We've got another level up here. Gotta go stamina again here. Um, and let's go archery as well here because we're using archery a little bit. Right, let's climb up here. There's another one of those stones over here, so I want to grab it and see what happens. Because that'll be our third. I'm curious to see what it gives us. Absorb this. Three out of three. I've absorbed enough to advance my skills. What does that mean? It is a perk point. Nice. Okay. That's really cool to see. Um, speech we've got pretty high at the moment. We are using Ordinator for the extra perks here, I believe. So there is quite a lot of interesting stuff we can do in the uh, perk trees here. We do also have some custom perk trees as well. If we take a look here, we've got Vampirism, Dragonborn, Pyromancy, Vigilant Ascendar. We've got some pretty interesting stuff here. Um, I don't know if there's any of those I want to go for right now. I think I just want to carry on with my regular skills. What should we go for here? Probably light armor, because we're using light armor right now. Right, cool. Nice to get that. Sign up onto this roof. I just love that. It's so cool. Right, 128 meters. So it's a little bit outside of Riverwood, this person. There's always stuff to do in Riverwood, though. Is that a cute... I um, know, oh, that's just a guy. Who are you? Why are you running away from me? You lost. Uh, it's a courier. I All thought right, it was. Then. You can always tell it's a courier because they move from very specific ways. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Oh. Let's see here. It's I a courier. I've never seen a courier give someone Looks to something like else. It. Give a go. letter to someone else other than me. That's really cool. Whereabouts is this on the map? Okay, it's not that far away. 70, 50 meters. Okay. Is it? Is it this person here that's mining? I don't know what this little area is. This is all new. Yes, it is this mining person here. Do they have wings? Oh no, it's just a really big shield. Oh, Hello. Did you need something? Oh, is she just a follower? I see. See you. Ah, okay, okay, okay. That's fine. I mean, I don't, I don't need that to be linked up really at the moment. I'm not uh, looking for another follower. But that's cool to know that they're, like there's a follower with like a marker. I believe eventually we do get a marker for Lucian once he levels up a little bit, and it'll tell us where he is. Oh my god! Look at this. Look at the ground coverings. It's just oh god, impeccable. I knew there's a wolf around here somewhere. Immediately taken care of. And we do have Hunter Born on, so we could technically, like, skin that thing and get its pelt and stuff. I don't think we need to do that right now. In a second, let's just save. Right. So I guess, at the moment, we've kind of... We can kind of do whatever we want now. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but... Oh, someone's getting attacked there. Oh, that's... <laughs> I say someone, it's fucking Lucian. Ah! Terrifying. I'm sorry, my friend. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. That like gives some ice chunks on their body. And we can go boom. 
Oh, I got another one of the stones over there. That's going to be fun trying to find all of those. Good way to explore the map. Look how densely packed with like trees and stuff everything is here. This is crazy. Another one of these stones here. So yeah, every three of these we get a skill point, which seems pretty awesome. So now I don't actually know when the main story is going to start in terms of the Dragonborn stuff. I think it's after a certain amount of days. We probably just want to do some quests and stuff. Let's see what we can find. Maybe we'll start the Companions quest line? I've not done the Companions quest line in a while. Oh god. Hello. Yes. Good day. And that's a. Uh, that's just another guy. Hello. Need something. A lot of um, mm -hmm. a lot of mercenaries for hire on the roads, which is kind of nice to see. Ooh, look at the water. Yeah, where is it? We we uh we help start the companions quest line. There are some bodies jangling in the wind over there. Ah, there it is. That 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 tr uh, giant, I believe, is uh part of the quest line start. Let's get our sword out and head over there. care of that nice you handle yourself well you could make for a decent shield brother can I join you? not for me to say you'll have to talk to Codlack white mane up in your Vaskar the old man's got a good sense for people he can look in your eyes and tell your worth if you go to him good luck mm, okay that seems like a good enough idea to me. Oh, there's another one of those stones there. Dude, these things are everywhere. We're going to get quite a lot of skill points early on. I like this. Kind of jumps out the game a little bit. Grab that bad boy. Second. Good, good. So this guy's just the carriage guy, isn't he? Yes. No? Guess mm -hmm. not. Oh, the carriage guy's here, I see. Need a ride? Until next time. We should probably buy a horse buy at some point Eastmere, as well. It's true. A jester, funny suit and all. Just north by the Laurius farm. Fool had a coffin and a cart with a broken wheel. I'd like to see him laugh his way out of that. <laughs> is this horse good? Think you could oh my god. Blade blade with me? <laughs> One thing I will say about this mod pack well, is clearly, like clearly they've gone for a more, uh, slightly less realistic and more beautiful look for the women of the world. And Uthgood in, <laughs> Uthgood in the original Skyrim, like vanilla, she just looks like the most beat up woman. She looks so rough and in this she's like a beautiful woman. Lucian. Where are you? My boy. I've lost you once again. <laughs> He's around here somewhere, but... God knows where. He'll find his way, I'm sure. So normally when you come to the city, you have to bribe your way in or pass a check to say the dragons are coming, but I don't think we'll have to do that this time, right? Technically, the dragons aren't coming yet. Man. It's going to be cool to look around the city. Yeah, we can go straight in. Nice. But yeah, it'd be nice to hear from you guys to decide what you want me to do next. If you want me to just pick up some side quests, or if there's any particular location of the map you want me to go to we'll first. Whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial Lucian. soldiers. I just can't fill an order that Let's take our helmet off. Size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. 
Okay. So technically we could head up to Dragon's Reach and grab some Battle quests from there. Give me your money. I, I, know your I, I think I'm going to go energy. over to the Companions oh. and start that. Eventually. Investigate the legend. That, that could be a fun one to do. Read the note from Henry. I completely forgot Henry. about that. The note from Henry. Enter the Hall of Forgotten using the crystal. Wait. Okay. That's not something that I actually did intend to do before, so... Forbidden legend. Interesting prospect. Sunhelm. Where's the, um... I, th I think it's I just... It's I have to go and talk to someone. But we can't stop the limit. But I can't get the sword on my own. So you're willing to starve your wife and daughter to reclaim some rusty old sword? I just need to hire one, maybe two good men. With your nose buried so far, the I'll put it plainly. You can claim your sword, or you can keep your wife. If you set foot outside that gate, I won't be here when you return. Oh shit. Yes? What are you two my arguing about? doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword. He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. You help find it? I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby. But I'm no fool. I'd need the White Run guards or maybe hire the companions to get it. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful to you. Oh, sure thing. I okay. care. No, if I'm no, Starren, I'm not. Are you? Looks like we've got something in common then. No, I'm a Red Guard. My family hails from the Imperial Province. Ah, but I left home when I was just a lad. Been wandering ever since. Interesting. Yeah, we'll potentially help him find your sword. Wait, I need something. Sophia, come here. I just want to go home and read. I'm sorry. Until next time. Was trouble in White Run, and I'll haul you into the Dragon's Reach dungeon myself. It's Nazim. Not now. Of course, Nazim. <sighs> what a boring conversation. I mean, you're the one that said not now. What can I do for you? Yeah, this, <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Like, why is she so smooth? <laughs> Up, children of the Empire. At least she looks, does look evil. Come to a love of her reading, did you? Embrace the word Sorry, of mighty I'm not quite in the mood. Are you okay there? And divine. Trust in hmm. me, <laughs> Trust in she seems to not be able to let go of my gaze. Right. Yeah, the scare. See, this is what I mean by get a lot of XP early. Everything that discovers gives us a tiny bit of XP. So early on, it's going to add up. My poor Frally, I think Thorun's still alive, but I know better. Quite the forge Sky you've got forge. here. Aye, my clan fathers have worked it since the first Grey Mains came to Whiterun. Skyforge steel is all the companions will use, for good reason. Tell me about yourself. You blind, boy. I'm a blacksmith. Oh, Any I'm, oh, I'm sorry. That? I'm sorry. Are you a companion? Why? Who says I have to be? Skyforge Steel is my art and honor. The companions need the best, so they come to me. Okay. What have you got for sale? Gods be praised. Gods be praised. Weaponry wise, there's some good steel stuff in here we could probably grab. A steel great sword. Very nice. Steel sword. Oh, some of the steel weaponry looks really nice. Maybe get, grab a steel axe. They're not actually that expensive, to be honest. Yeah, let's grab a steel axe. I think that does more damage than my sword. Let's, let, let me take a little look, see. Um, yeah, it, it, it definitely does. Let's drop that and then um, add that to our hand. Mm -hmm. Let's see what the attack animations are like for this thing. Left. Pretty brutal. We could do some training down here, actually. Is that a wolf? A pet wolf? Oh, there's some pet doggies down here. Hello. I, I'm sorry, but is that just a wolf with different fare on it? <laughs> Hello, doggies. And who are you? Oh, uh, are you a Alea. Yeah, you are, yeah. Okay, so we can practice on these things here. 
So that's what that does. If we go into this. So four neutral big long cuts. Stepping forward each one. On one. Slightly faster cuts. Two. And the last one. I think I like, um, I think it was like two the best. No, 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 one the best. Yeah, that one's the best. Nice, okay, let's put that away. If you wish to hunt with me, your feet need to be quick and your eyes quicker. Can I join the companions? We don't just take in any milk drinker who stumbles in. Talk to Codlack if you think you have what it takes to be a companion. Who are the companions? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the Companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Where do you stand on the wall? Hodlack says not to worry about it. I worry that a bunch of snowberries are out there earning glory while we stay out of it. But I will follow the old man's lead, as ever. Cool. Right, let's go and find that person she mentioned. To the fountain. Doesn't that did much? Place or remove black banner. I can't do that apparently. Quite a feast we got going on out here. Here to be a companion? Well, they just let me in, so there's probably no more room. Why did you join Are the you companions? Kidding? I've wanted to be with them since I was a little girl. Haven't you heard the stories of Codlack and Skewer fighting off the 101 Orc Berserkers? I have not. Skewer says it was more like 40, but he's just being modest. Where else would I want to be but here? Learning from them, fighting at their sides. Fair enough. Right, Until let's next go and time. find what that, that, that Kodak, Kodak, whatever his name is. Kodex. Hey, you oh, at it again? Come oh, on there's now. a brawl going Watch on. Keep your balance. Oh lord. I do kind of like the fact that we don't see people's names until we speak to them. That's Get nice. And push. Just keep swinging. Pay attention. You could learn something. All right. All right. Mm, mm. God damn, these are. Scratch. It's nothing. You dare fight a? Yep. That's, that's probably, you've probably done it. It's probably enough. Make it quick. Wow, mm -hmm. okay. So, is it this guy, maybe? I haven't seen your face no. before. I'm watching you. Can I join the companions? So you think you have what it takes? Huh. Probably this Lucky guy here, just walked past us. He side-eyed me real big then. Talk to Codlac. Who knows, maybe he's in a generous mood. Let's talk to him, mm -hmm. shall we? Where'd he go? Ah, here he is. This, this has got to be him, right? No. This is the guy we just spoke to. Where's, where's Codlac? Sometimes I wonder if it's time I found a place to settle down. Ah, I'm fresh blood. I have Hope you know how to handle yourself. It. I'd be dead if not Safe for Big Nor. Where the hell is this guy? Me turn my oh life my god, around. look at this. Ah, there's a downstairs, okay. I forget about that. Farewell, sir. Is he down here? Ah, the living quarters. Potentially, yes. Let's take a little peruse. Oh my god, it looks incredible down here. This is where all the sleeping quarters are. I'm a little apprehensive to just run through everyone's rooms, to be honest, but, uh... This is like a bathing area? Yeah, nice, okay. Lucian, what are you doing? Why are we in this person's room? With the mess hall. Spare rooms. I don't think he's down here. I think we would have seen him already, but... I was hoping we'd be able to get a quest marker for him, but... Oh, wait. I still hear the call of the blood. We all do. It is our birth. A stranger hey, comes to Hey, we found him. That light's a bit bright, my guy. 
I'd like to join the companions. Would you now? Here, let me have a look at you. Hmm. Yes, perhaps. A certain strength of spirit. Master, you're not truly considering accepting him. I am nobody's master. Have you considered Lucas. redecorating? And last I checked, Don't we had some empty beds in Yorvaskar for those with a fire burning in their hearts. Apologies. But perhaps this isn't the time. I've never even heard of this outsider. Sometimes the famous come to us. Sometimes men and women come to us to seek their fame. It makes no difference. What matters is their heart. And their arm. Of course. How are you in battle, boy? I can handle myself. That may be so. This is Vilkas. He will test your arm. Vilkas, take him out to the yard and see what he can do. I. Oh, hello. I'm going to a little, little gemstone thing here. We're actually joining the companions of your Vasca? How tremendously macho. They'll never believe me back home. Not here. Out in the yard. Come on. Get going then. He has much better armor than I do, so I'm a little, little worried about this. <laughs> Okay, there's a ladder up here. Wasn't expecting that. Are we heading outside? That we are. The old man said to have a look at you. So, let's do this. Just have a few swings at me so I can see your form. Don't worry, I can take it. Oh, Looks slow. Mate, what the fuck? <laughs> That's so funny. There you go. What are you waiting for? Not bad. Next time won't be so easy. You might just make it. But for now, you're still a whelp to us, new blood. So you do what we tell you. Here's my sword. Go take it up to Yorland to have it sharpened. And be careful. It's probably worth more than you are. Thank you very much. Okay, I think we're going to leave the episode there. That was so funny how he's like, I'm outnumbered! Blows horn for backup and it's like, mate, you know, when we're, I we're just having a little brawl. This sort of fetching and carrying isn't exactly what comes to mind. Yeah, same Lucian, but we've got to do our dues. It is what it is. Either way, the, are you... Are you, uh, just taking a little seat there, my guy? Yeah, I think we're going to leave it there. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll sit up on one of these chairs, I guess. There you go. And we'll have a nice little time in the next episode. But I hope you guys enjoyed the introduction to this series. It's going to be, like I said, a very relaxed series where we just chill out, play some Skyrim, have some good time with it. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let's save the game for the last time this episode. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.